What's up, workaholics? Welcome back to another video reaction on Do Work Media. I'm the Hemp Lord. So today we're going to be reviewing another video coming out of the tragic situation in Texas. So this video right here is about the school shooter was dropping hints on social media talking about what he's planning to do. So let's get to it. Let's watch this video, man, and see what we can do. Details about the teenager who carried out the Texas massacre. 18-year-old Salvador Ramos posted messages on social media hinting about his evil plans. Wait till tomorrow went this warning and this, kids be scared, along with photos of two assault rifles and a high-capacity magazine. The morning of the massacre, he sent this text to a young woman he knew. You gonna repost my gun pics? She answered, what your guns got to do with me? He replied, I got a little secret I want to tell you. Texas Governor Greg Abbott revealed three chilling Facebook posts. He said, I'm going to shoot my grandmother. The second post was, I shot my grandmother. The third post, maybe less than 15 minutes before arriving at the school was, I'm going to shoot an elementary school. Here's Jim Murray. Friends say Ramos was a loner who was bullied at school for a speech impediment and reportedly came from a family troubled by drug addiction. Several months before the massacre, he came to live here with his grandmother, who worked for the school district. He slept on a mattress on the floor. Joseph Moreno is a neighbor. Did you know that he had guns? No. No, like I say, he had just turned 18 and he went and bought it. And Did he told this friend of his, look, look what I got. Did and the friend said, hey, bro, what? Why do you need those for? He says, don't worry about it. That was his answer. Don't worry about Kinda it. Kind of gives you chills, doesn't it? Yes. Ramos reportedly became obsessed with the video game Call of Duty. School friends told GMA his behavior was increasingly bizarre. I was going to start being his friend no more because like, he was being weird with like not only me, but like, a lot of other people. He had scars on his face, and I remember somebody asking him, like, what happened? Are you okay? Because he showed up to school with them, and he just straight out told them, you know, with a smile. I, I did it myself. Forensic psychiatrist Dr. Keith Ablo says Ramos has similar traits to other mass killers including the teenager accused of the Buffalo supermarket massacre and the Parkland school shooter. Again, we have a shooter who is socially isolated, uh, who has uh, psychological or physical characteristics that marginalize him, who was bullied. That's a prescription for disaster, and it's present in the majority of school shootings. This video shows graduating seniors from the killer's high school being welcomed by kids at the elementary school. Ramos targeted the school just three days later. The day of the shooting, Ramos had a fight with his grandmother over failing to graduate. She was shot in the face and is in critical condition. He shot his own grandmother um, and from that point just triggered this, this mass shooting. Ramos fled the home in his grandparents' pickup truck, crashing into this gully. Surveillance video shows him running into the school seconds later. The massacre was about to begin. All right, so tragic situation, man. I just have one question off top is how did he enter the school? Like, we should have better security for our schools. Like, the children is the future. The children are the most important thing in this society, like the future. So we should be protecting our children, man. The children's doors should be locked, and we should have security at our schools. I mean, in a time like this where there's so many um, school shootings, there should be a security um, business surrounding these schools you know that's that's just what i think especially public schools come on now i mean i know it's very sad that we got to put um armed security at our schools especially elementary but this is where we're at like we try to understand everything without like it's, it seemed like to me like we're trying to go around our elbow to get to our our ass and it's not it's not making sense Massacre. to me. Like, how did he enter that school? You know, posted messages on social media hinting about his massacre. 
and the Parkland school shooter. Again, we have a shooter With all of these shootings now, how did he enter the school? Like, like I'm saying, like we try to understand everything without, like, just acting. That's all we have to do is act. Like this country needs to act on these situations, on these circumstances. Well, I had to bring it to y'all, man. You know, we we got to discuss it. You know, I'm joining the, the discussion, so. He shot his own grandmother, um, and from that point just triggered this, this mass shooting. Ramos fled the home in his grandparents' pickup truck, crashing into this gully. Surveillance video shows him running into the school seconds later. The massacre was about to begin. How'd he just run into the school? How? How? When I was in elementary, there was janitors, there was hall monitors, there was teachers that, you know, didn't have a class, so they had to monitor the hall. The doors should be locked, and there should be an adult on the other side of that door. If there's five, ten doors that lead to an entrance, we can put ten people there, ten adults. I mean, they they can be senior citizens as long as they can sit at that door and monitor that door. You know, we we have to do a better job. We have to do a better job, and uh, prayers. To the families of these uh, of the victims and everyone that went to that school, man, prayers for everyone. Yo, it's the Hemp Lord, Do Work Media. I'm out.